Now that we're a few weeks into 2024, it's time for my annual Preston County housing market update. I've compiled the sales data from the MLS and then crunched the numbers myself to get the averages and other information I'm gonna tell you. So please consider this info approximate but reliable. This is also just info from the MLS, so any private property transfers are not taken into account for this update. I will be presenting the number of properties sold, days on market, average price, and total sales volume. Because of the higher interest rates this year, I also wanted to include data on the types of financing used. There are a lot of factors that go into accurately pricing a home, and this video should just be used for very general info. Preston County is definitely not an area with cookie cutter homes, so each one really does need to be individually assessed to determine value. In 2023 in Preston County, there were 189 home sales with a total sales volume of over $41 million. The average home price is about $219,000. This is compared to 196 home sales in 2022 with a total of $45 million in sales with an average home price of $231,000. In 2023, there were 90 conventional loans used, 50 cash sales, 20 FHA loans, 17 VA loans, eight West Virginia Housing Development Funds, two USDA loans, and one owner financed. In 2023, there were 96 land sales totaling nearly 2,000 acres sold, with a total sales amount of just over $7.3 million. Averaged altogether, this ended up being $3,751 per acre. There were 76 cash sales, 19 conventional loans, and one land contract. Now I'm going to break this information down into individual town sales within Preston County in 2023. Remember, this data must be taken with a grain of salt because I am not taking into consideration the condition of the homes, the amount of acreage that conveys with the houses, or anything else besides the town they are located in. In Albright in 2023, there were seven home sales for a total of $1.2 million, or an average of $174,500 per house. On average, these homes were on the market for 12 days before they went under contract. Out of the seven, five of them were purchased with a conventional loan, one was FHA, and one was a cash sale. As far as vacant land, seven properties were sold, totaling 384 acres for $1.3 million. This averaged out to about $3,439 per acre. Four of the 2023 vacant land sales in Albright were purchased with a conventional loan, while two were cash and one was a land contract. Arthurdale had only one home sale last year for $260,000, which meant four days on the market before the buyer put it under contract using a conventional loan. There were no land sales registered on the MLS in Arthurdale in 2023. There were two homes sold in Aurora last year for a total of $347,000, and they spent an average of 11 days on the market. One was a cash sale and one was purchased using a VA loan. Aurora also had one cash land sale, averaging about $3,400 per acre. In 2023, there were 41 home sales in Brewston, totaling just about $11.2 million. The average home was $273,000 and spent 49 days on the market. About half of these sales were done with conventional financing, eight with cash, five for both VA and FHA, two West Virginia housing development funds, and one was seller financed. There were 20 vacant land sales with approximately 487 acres sold for $2.3 million in total sales. 18 of those were cash sales and two were conventional loans. There were three home sales in Eglin last year, totaling $455,000. The average for 2023 is about $152,000 per house and 172 days on the market before going under contract. There weren't any land sales in Eglin last year. Independence is located in three counties. On just the Preston County side, there were six home sales in 2023, after zero in 2022. Total sales was nearly $1.5 million for an average of $242,500 per home, spending 23 days on the market. Half of these were conventional sales, and the other three were USDA, WVHDF, and cash. There was also one cash land sale that averaged $3,586 per acre. Kingwood had 35 home sales for a total of just over $6.7 million. The average home was about $193,000 and spent 66 days on the market before going under contract. Most of these homes used a conventional loan to purchase, while eight were cash, and the rest were FHA, VA, WVHDF, and USDA financing. There were also four land sales in Kingwood last year, totaling $219,000 for just over 16 acres. This averaged out to a pretty high $13,000 per acre. Two of these sales were conventional and two were cash. There were 14 home sales in Masontown totaling over $2 million. 
On average, it was about $154,000 per home. They spent on average 67 days on the market. Six homes were sold using a conventional loan, three FHA, three cash, and two were VA. There were also seven land sales in Masontown in 2023, totaling over 82 acres for $336,500. This averaged to $4,074 per acre. Most of these were cash sales. Motesville is another town in Preston County that also crosses the border into another county. On the Preston County side in 2023, there were two home sales with an average sale price of $205,725. These were both cash sales. There was also another cash sale of $100,000 for about 35 and a half acres of vacant land, which averaged out to about $2,822 per acre. There were four home sales in Newburgh, totaling $636,000. The average sales price and time on the market was $159,000 in 14 days. Three of the sales in 2023 were conventional sales and one was VA. The loan land sale on the MLS in Newburgh last year was a cash sale that averaged $3,125 per acre. Reedsville had 10 homes sell in 2023 that spent an average of 36 days on the market. Total sales volume was almost $2.5 million or $248,550 per house. Four were purchased with conventional loans while FHA, cash, and VA each had two. There were six vacant land sales in Reedsville last year with a total of $307,000 thousand one hundred twenty five dollars for thirty two point seven two acres or about nine thousand three hundred and eighty six dollars per acre four of these land sales were cash and two were conventional in rollsburg in 2023 there were six home sales for an average of one hundred and forty four thousand dollars per home and 109 days on the market total sales equaled eight hundred and sixty four thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars four of these sales were purchased with a conventional loan and the others were West Virginia Housing Development Funds in cash. There weren't any land sales on the MLS in Rollsburg last year. Terra Alta sales really must be separated into two categories, Terra Alta and Alpine Lake Resort. In 2023, there were 30 home sales in Alpine Lake for an average of $277,000 per house. Total sales volume was over $8.3 million and houses spent an average of 67 days on the market. With 16 cash sales, 13 conventional, and one FHA loan. In 2023, there were 31 sales of vacant lots at Alpine Lake, totaling just about $544,000 for just under 16 and a half total acres. This equal to be just about $33,000 per acre, and 30 of these were cash sales, while two were conventional loans. In Terra Alta, there were 24 home sales, totaling $4.5 million. They spent an average of 88 days on the market and came out to about $190,000 per home. 12 of these were purchased with a conventional loan, six were cash, three were VA, two were FHA, and one was WVHDF loan. As far as land, there were 15 parcels sold with a total of $902,000 in sales over about 370 acres. This averaged out to $2,440 per acre in Terra Alta. Of the 15 land sales in 2023, 10 were cash and five were conventional. Tunnelton had four home sales in 2023, which spent about 136 days on the market. The total amount in sales was $477,000 for an average of $119,250 per home. Two were purchased with conventional loans. One was FHA and one was cash. There were also four land sales in Tunnelton on the MLS in 2023, two conventional and two cash. Just over 400 acres were sold for $845,000. This averages out to be $2,110 per acre. Thank you for watching my 2023 Preston County Housing Market Update. Let me know if you have any questions or what type of data you'd be interested in seeing in future market updates.